pegging a level. To get started, we'll be setting up a 100 foot baseline with points placed at the zero mark, one at 50 feet, 75 feet, and 100 feet. I find it easiest to use a 100 foot steel tape so that I can set each position accurately. I never use fiberglass or plastic tapes as they stretch and become inaccurate over time or in hot weather. Honestly, I wouldn't even keep one in my truck. To perform our test, we'll set 60D nails at each position and make sure they're set securely so that they don't shift during our observations. In this case, no one was available to assist with the level rod, so I used a bipod to keep it upright and a handheld rod level to ensure that the rod was perfectly plumb when taking my readings. From a note keeping standpoint, we'll be keeping three wire level notes. If we really want to get verification of distances, which we do in this exercise, and we want to be able to double check that each reading is perfect as we go, three wire is the only method that provides these double checks. Okay, first, we'll set up the level at our 50 foot mark to make sure that we can take two observations that are of equal distance from the level. Next, we'll turn to the first back sight at the zero mark of our baseline. Okay, nice clear reading. We'll note that observation in our field book. Calculating the average. Calculate our distances and height at the level. Turning the level 180 degrees to the other end of our baseline, we'll observe our first foresight at the 100 foot mark. Okay, got that reading. Calculating the average, distances, and the new elevation for the nail at our 100 foot mark. Next, let's move the level and set up again, this time at the 75 foot mark. Pegging a level is essentially a very short, closed level loop. Remember that in all level work, we aim to set up midway between the backside and the foresight. By doing so, when this kind of instrument is out of level or out of calibration, it's off by the same amount at each end, and therefore cancels out. By setting up over the 75 foot mark and forcing a set of observations with an uneven backside and foresight, if the level is reading level, there will be no issue, and your level loop will close. If the level is out of level or out of calibration, the error will factor in much more heavily at your furthest observation to the foresight and your level loop will misclose. All right, next we'll come off of the elevation at the 100 foot mark for our second back sight. There's our observations, the average, distances, and our new elevation at the level. We'll turn 180 degrees and look to our second foresight and closing point at our zero mark. Let's go ahead and make our closing observation. Got that reading, calculating the average, distances, and the math looks great, closure of one thousandth. This level is ready to head to the field. Even if I saw more than five thousandths consistently, I'd take my level in to be calibrated. But it's not uncommon to see misclosures in the ballpark of a hundredth and a half, even in just this short 100 foot baseline. When should you peg your level? Whenever it's been knocked around in the case? whenever it's been out of your possession and used by others, even when it comes back from calibration, are all great times to ensure it's performing its function properly. Thanks for visiting Lean Survey. There are plenty more best practice, quick tricks, and tip videos on the way. Be sure to like, leave a comment if you have recommendations for content, and click that subscribe button for more.